Everybody likes a good ghost story. Would you like to try to prove ghosts are real? You can do that in the game Skeptics by Uziac Games. Hey there Misfits, this is Misfit Tom here to talk to you about a game called Skeptics, where you play investigators trying to prove that ghosts are real. It's a game for one to four players, so if you're into solo play, that's cool. And in the future, they're going to work on an expansion that can go up to five. So let's take a look. Yeah, this game we found at Dice Tower East in the Indie Game Alliance booth. And it's been out for a couple years, but like I said, they wanted us to spotlight this game because they have an expansion coming out next year. So let's take a look at our rule book. Pretty good quality from what I can tell. I, I always appreciate rule books that have the pictures with it too, because not everybody likes to read. I don't like to read. I'm a math teacher. But I don't like to read either. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do. I like to read. <laughs> what do I think? I just don't understand it when I read it. Yeah, I, I, I'm more of a math guy, so the pictures help me out. I'm a very visual person. Yeah, so this this is a very good quality rule book. I'm impressed. So let's see what else we got. Oh, uh, the Entity Expansion Rulebook. So apparently they already have an expansion for this game. I did not know that. This box came with the first expansion, so these must be the rules for that. It's nice. just a little small insert. We got a storybook. So not sure what to say at this point. Investigation. So this is, just looks like more rules. Uh, twins. Oh, another expansion. What? How many expansions does this game have? Maybe I should look that up. It's chock full of expansions. So we what got a value. Yeah, not not bad. I mean, if you, with this box, we got the main game and two expansions. And like I said, there's a third. There's another expansion coming out in 2024 where they're going to add the fifth player option. Because I, I know that's going to help our group a lot. Oh, beca yeah. Because we very rarely have occasions when we have four players. We always have five or six. And the fifth player option is really going to help us out here. So we got tokens. Oh, nothing here. So this must be... Uh, from what I know about the game, you're going around different locations. And the main game comes with two locations. The expansion is going to come with more... Uh, where you're going around looking for clues. And so I guess he's nothing here thing, so you didn't find anything. You find items, you find clues. These must be the standees for the investigators. I am impressed so far. Okay, so this says Child Ghost. I was going to... When I first saw these, I thought these might be the character sheets for you, but these look like the ghosts you're looking for. So you got the Child Ghost, you got a woman in white. Apparition, a poltergeist, and each one probably requires different different items, different clues to prove that they're real. Because that's the entire purpose of the game, is you're trying to find evidence and prove that ghosts are real. Let's take a look at these last ones. Ooh, the twins. Reminds me of that one movie. Cool. Can't remember. What was that movie? Can't remember. The Shining. The Shining. The sh you got the Shining! Uh, all right. Some more. Oh, there's clue tokens. Uh, yeah, that's right. This game is time-based. So each turn, this is the clock. So you keep track of your time. I think the next thing we got is our board. And again, from my understanding, there's two different locations you can use with the base game. So here's... The, this is the Asylum. Ooh. And this one... Oh, a museum. So, thank you from Museat Games. Ah, okay. So here, this this would be important to put on there. That's the information straight from the developer about the new expansion coming out. Awesome. So they're going to have an opera house. And from this, they're going to add, like I said, new location. They're going to add new ghosts. They're going to add another investigator so you can play up to five. So it sounds like it's going to be a good value. Keep it, Keep an eye on that on Kickstarter, and we'll... In the description down below, we'll have a link to this guy's website. I think his name is John. John Uziak. Uh, dice. Oh, Anthony's going to love this game. <laughs> it's got dice. Mm, 
Special right. too. Yeah, I mean, uh, again, we haven't read through the rules on this. I literally just broke the plastic on this right before we started rolling. So each one, I'm assuming, was going to means a different thing. And we'll we'll look more into that. And I'm sure you'll see a gameplay video on this in the future. Our resident author, Misfit Amanda, is cannot wait to get this on the table. She she wanted to rip it open at Dice Tower and play it, but we didn't get the chance, unfortunately. Then we thought of you guys. We wanted you guys. Yeah, we wanted you guys to see this, especially because like I, I know I'm I like the paranormal. This game I, I couldn't wait to get this on the table either. So this is and one of the games that uh, Misfit Chaos he likes single player games because a lot of times you know, his family won't be there so we'll play single player games. This would be another one then. And I know there's other Misfits out there that like doing single player games too. So this would be a good game for you as well. I don't know what these are. These are just little little shiny, cubes. Little shiny wooden cubes. Rectangles. What do we got? I'm sure these represent something else too. Little Plastic meeple, almost like meeple things. Uh, standees. That is the thing for the clock. And we got our cards. Ooh, there's cards too. Yep, so there's clues. Uh, insert music here. This fit Tom <laughs> trying to get the cards open. Oh, that wasn't too bad. So we got clues. We got watching eye. I'd, uh, these are probably events, I would say. Lights out, yeah. Nice artwork. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure the same guy does does everything. Uh, Uziak. Oh. oh, there's our reference card. This this is Ooh, big. Nice. Reference cards are always nice. It gives you your turn order, your player turn, anything that can happen. I'm always impressed when we get... Uh, player cards like that. Uh, all right, so we got things to place ghosts in room. What else? In the last soundtrack. Ooh, there's a link to a soundtrack so you can have ambient music while you're playing. Ooh. And uh, okay, so here's your yeah. I knew these would be in here at some point. There at the back of the thing. So here's our three or our four investigators. So every every investigator has their own perks lined up. Oh, it looks like this is the same. And a little flavor on the back for each one. Tell a story. Each one has their own ability. So, yeah, this this game looks like a ton of fun. I really can't wait to get this one onto the table, and I'm sure Misfit Manda would agree. So, until next time, Misfits. What is it, Anthony always says? Yeah. Game on. Thank you.